Okay boys, it's February 14th. It's a special day. Even that it's Valentine's Day, it's also my birthday. Also, some crazy things happening today. Stopped by Fun Motorsports, picked up their big trailer. We're gonna fill that baby today. Let's get on the road. We got a lot of miles to put in today. So we just made it across the border into North Dakota. Uh, everything went real smooth. They just had to check the trailer, make sure we weren't trying to smuggle in any snow Mexicans. <laughs> snow Mexicans. So we only got uh, two hours. Um, we're going to Pure Performance. It's a Can-Am dealer in North Dakota. In, in uh, I mean, in North Minot. Dakota, in Minot. And uh, our surprise is waiting there. I haven't laid eyes on it. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, you guys will learn, I guess, more about it when I do. So, two hours. I've always wanted to do this. We're gonna snap, and we're gonna be there. The truck's a little dirty. Yeah, a little dirty. Good thing we washed it before we left. <laughs> okay, boys. We made her. Man, this is actually a really big dealer. Maybe they're, they're more Honda sales than Can-Am sales, but they also sell Can-Am, so... It was pretty awesome of them to let us get our machine brought here so I don't know anything whether it's in the back or whatever we're gonna have to figure it out hopefully someone here knows what's going on here's a really nice defender on some Apache 360s beauty whatever this thing is it's like an ice auger holder sweet all right let's go figure this out oh look at this thing whoa right up front <laughs> Boys, this is Project Ghost. The reason why we called it Ghost is it just didn't seem like it was real. A 2020 XRS RR. Oh, so many goodies on here, you guys. The list on this. Oh, S3 just knocked this out of the freaking park. Like, it was like a ground up build, man. Cage and bumpers and full suspension. Look at these trailing arms. Sway bar links, bumper, pole plate, radius rods. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, just little touches. This is all side by side blog, guys. Thanks to the Nick, Nicks, and Doug, and Rick. Simpson seats, Simpson harnesses, custom. Oh, you guys. Oh, they're so comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. Just kidding. The shift handle. Lots of little things that i just never seen before. But anyway, she started out life as a 2020 XRS RR. We got some Evo tuning on her. And basically every part that S3 makes. And almost every part that Can-Am makes. Snorkels, rad relocate, cooler. We got the Evo shocker on there. Carbon fiber Yoshi. Oh my God, I can't wait to hear this thing. Look at these trailing arms. Talk about beef. <laughs> 35 inch ITP Coyotes on MSA bead locks. We did some custom powder coated rings, some spiky lug nuts. <sighs> wow. We got frickin' sliders. Woohoo! Oh, wow, 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 wow. Crazy. Look at this roof and this cage. Bahan Designs light. Beautiful. Beautiful. God, what a beauty. What a freaking beauty. We've got a 4500 Warren VRX winch. Full wiper. Full windshield. She's going in Monday, boys. We got some backcountry tracks to go on. We got upper doors to go on, rear rear window but i don't know how that's gonna work we're gonna have to work around that there's gonna be a lot of stuff we're gonna have to work around but we're gonna get her sealed up because we leave for the mountains on thursday imagine this baby another six inches in the air on backcountry lt tracks that's what's coming okay we're planning on making the whole drive home tonight it took us about eight hours to get here it's a little after four so we got to get this baby loaded up and we got to get going I got to meet all the staff here. Everyone was super nice and awesome. They really, really, really liked the build. They said they got a lot of people in here <laughs> asking all sorts of questions on it. They didn't really have a lot of information on it. So 
But yeah, man, do we got a lot of stuff to go over on this build. Anyways, okay, let's load her up. Tell us about this baby. Are you pretty excited? Is this the be best birthday present ever? Oh, yeah. Valentine's Day. Birthday. <laughs> Can you do like, what's that one? Literally best present ever. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Well, we'll Thanks to everybody that beautiful. made it happen, right? Yeah, totally. So awesome. Thanks to Can Am, thanks to S3, thanks to ITP, thanks to MSA, thanks to Warren. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Times a million. Thanks to these guys awesome. for uh, holding it. Woo! Holding it. Yep. It's a pretty cool machine. It looks it looks way better in person. Okay, let's fire it up. Okay, fire it up. Here they come. <laughs> Sorry. Get distracted. <laughs> Just don't damage anything on your way out. The dimensions of this thing is a little different than our old one. Strap down and uh, head on back down on the road. Oh boys, we made her. It turned out to be about just almost 22 hours round trip. We were at the border for quite a while and then uh, we drove past some open gas stations because I thought there'd be more gas stations open and turns out there was none. So we turned around and backtracked about 50 kilometers. So we ended up doing an extra 100 kilometers for, for nothing. <laughs> But, you know, it was a big adventure and it was totally worth it. We got ghost home, so that's all that matters. And a big surprise, my uh, our good buddy who's been in the videos for like 10 years, Daryl, messing around. He's a lifelong Polaris dude. When he gets here, <laughs> I'm going to take him for a rip at this baby out on the ice. So that should be funny. So stay tuned. She made the full first cold start. I think it was 24 below this morning and now it's about 19, so... See how she likes that. <laughs>
Not bad, not bad. Pretty dang chilly, man. <laughs> we'll warm her up, and we're gonna go break her in Austin Cruiser style. <laughs> Okay boys, we're here at Fun Motorsports. We're getting our Apache Backcountry LT tracks on. So the issues we're running into is, uh, of course if you guys remember the little bit earlier video is all our suspension is S3 suspension. So the factory anti-rotation brackets for the tracks just do not fit. Everything is thicker and stronger with S3 stuff. So we're having to swap the lower control arms back to stock to make them fit. Those are over here. We we're very close to making these brackets work with the S3 trailing arms, but everything was just a little bit different. See how this bolts up so nice. So it just didn't quite work with their trailing arms. Too bad because their stuff is freaking like level 9,000 strength. So next year when we got more time, we're definitely gonna make it work. But this year we're kind of time crunched. So over here is the front arms. He's already got all the rotation brackets mounted up ready to go on they're just waiting for new bushings those will be here first thing in the morning look at the size of these brackets this is like freaking quarter inch three eighths inch i don't know it's super thick plate they're super freaking beefy so your anti rotation cables go there and then your main track mount is just below the ball joint so then we got some fender flares uh we had a hard rear window to go on but because of that rad relocate uh, we ordered a soft rear window just so we could trim it a lot easier. And then we got our upper doors on. And again, the cage being different, everything had to be tweaked a little bit, but we got them fitting actually really, really nice. So it should work out really, really good. So first thing in the morning, hopefully we'll get the fronts on and then hopefully we get out of town around noon. And we got about 12 hours of driving to the mountains. So hopefully we're there by about midnight. So fingers crossed boys, but here's, Here's how she sits right now. Here's a really good shot of the S3 trailing arms. Like it looks like you could bust rocks right in half with these things. Look at these things, they're beefy as hell. Like I said, next year, or not even, not next year, this year, later this year, we'll get it so that we can bolt our tracks right onto the much beefier S3 suspension. That's a really good shot. Those things are just like freaking gorgeous and strong as hell. So here's a shot of the front tracks. Of course it's up on the lift so she's like max troop but holy are we gonna have clearance. Oh, <laughs> uh, And we won't have a trouble with uh, snow packing in the rad. We got that rad relocated. It's kind of a kind of an issue when you're plowing really really deep snow. It kind of plugs up the rad so all in all boys I am freaking excited as heck. So this is where the video is gonna leave off today. Tomorrow hopefully the start of video two and us getting to the mountains and then all hell's gonna break loose. All right, thanks. <laughs>